So here we have our two versions of a quadratic function. The general form where it's all multiplied out, ax squared plus bx plus c, and in the standard form where we can read off the vertex. We get to here by completing the square. At least that's how we've done it up till now. But there's a formula, a handy dandy formula, that relates a, b, and c to a, h, and k. Well, first of all, the a's are the same. But h is equal to the opposite of b, which is your x coefficient, divided by 2 times a. Now, if you're in a higher class, something pre-calculus-ish, I would expect that you could complete the square on the general form, divide everybody by a, take half the x coefficient, square it, add it, subtract it, factor, and figure out this relationship in that way. For now, we're just going to memorize h is equal to negative b over 2a. Now k has its own formula, and it's big, and I never remember what it is. But I do know that all points on my parabola have to work in both equations, right? So h, this is an x value, right? This is the x value for the vertex. So if I plug this x value, h, into my function that I know, that will tell me what its y partner is. And the y partner for the vertex is k. So let's go ahead and see how that works. Let's do an example. y equals 4x squared minus 6x plus 3. So we'll realize that we do have a quadratic function. And if I want to know the vertex, I need to figure out what's a, what's b, and what is c. So a is 4, b is negative 6, and c is 3. So h, the x part of my vertex, is equal to the opposite of b. So b is currently negative 6, so I need negative, negative 6, divided by 2 times a. So we'll get 6 eighths, and I know you guys are going to reduce that and come up with 3 fourths. So that's where the x part of the vertex is. The y part, k, I find by taking that 3 fourths that we just found and plugging that in for the x's in my function. Now notice I just changed from my y to an f of x again. Try not to freak out too much. So let's plug that in. 4 times 3 fourths squared minus 6 times 3 fourths plus 3. What do we get there? 4 times 9 sixteenths minus 9 halves plus 3. What kind of denominator are we looking at? 4's maybe? So 9 minus, that needs a 2 top and bottom, 18. That one needs a 4 top and bottom, plus 12. So we'll get negative 9 plus 12 is 3 fourths as well. That will not always happen. Just a fluke. So the vertex for that parabola is the point 3 fourths, 3 fourths. Now something you'll be asked is, is that a minimum or a maximum? The vertex is always a minimum or a maximum of the function. And you decide if it's a minimum or a maximum depending on which way the vertex opens. And the letter A decides which way it opens. So if A is positive, the parabola opens up, and so the vertex would be a minimum. If A is less than zero, if A is negative, a negative x squared, those parabolas open down. And that means your vertex would be a maximum, a highest value. So for us, the vertex, 3 fourths, 3 fourths, since my a value is positive 4, this parabola opens up so that 3 fourths, 3 fourths is the minimum value.